Good evening. <laughs> and Good welcome evening. to October 12th, 2023, Town Center and Library Committee meeting. I apologize for the delay. We had some technical difficulties, um, which we might still have. Uh, if, if, uh, if people can't hear everybody else, uh, let us know and we'll try to translate for you. Um, so, uh, Lisa, I think you you count as the public tonight. Do you have any public comment? Um, wow, that's a sudden request. <laughs> not used to being public. Um, no, uh, really nothing. Okay. Um, and uh, any additions or deletions to the, the agenda? I think. Uh, I think uh, the agenda actually covers all the things we intended to talk about. Um, so um, the first item on the agenda is to talk about um, our public outreach plan, including what to present and setting some dates. Um, so we had we had some actually uh, very constructive uh, discussion on this last time, but we didn't we didn't come down to a a final um, when and what. Um, so I'd open the floor for suggestions of how we go about doing this. Um, one question that I had. Um, and I think it's probably the most um, important question is uh, if we're going out for a, a, a public presentation, what number are we going to use? The last time we were the, here, we had uh, several different options um, uh, from everything we've discussed down to um, a two point something million dollars that nobody be able to recognize a change of the building, but it would, you know, we'd have a new heating system, something like that. I'm, I'm, so I'm not suggesting having the conversation about that. I, what I'm suggesting, you know, I think we actually have enough information to make a decision on that. Um, uh, and what I would propose is we have put an awful lot of thought, time, and effort into this. Um, and I think the top line number um, works for, I, mean, I think it's important for the public to understand what we have learned and what we have come up with and what it would yeah. cost to do it. So not worth it. 9.8. Can, can you hear Lori? Can you guys hear lawyer? No, I'm afraid not. Maybe we could get a little closer. Yeah. yeah. Jeff, if you dot, I wonder if you used your phone to dial into the meeting. That's and an then idea. It would, and then it would act like a microphone. And, and then I could, we could pass it around. around. The phone around yeah. There you go. You, do you know how to dial uh, in? So it becomes your audio. One would be enough. Yeah. yeah. So, so how do we do this? So how do I want to do this? So if you go on your um, meeting information on your Zoom and you go to the bottom left of your Zoom, there's a little telephone. Yeah. Click that, and then you can call in one of those numbers and your meeting ID and your participant ID, and it'll put you on your phone. Phone number. Where am I now? You, when somebody's speaking on the phone, you might need to mute the Jeff's laptop, though, or you may get crazy, weird feedback. Let's try it, though. Yeah. Yep. I think muting a laptop, when, once you're on the phone, it should override the laptop audio if he dials in like okay. this, I think. But that's a good point if it doesn't. <laughs> Josh, if I'm sitting here, can you hear me okay? I'm guessing. Josh, can you hear me if I speak this way? I can hear you like that, yeah. yeah. Okay, so why don't you do your comment while I, you were going to say something. So more. I was just saying that in terms of what number to use, if we're going to use, if we're going to use the big number that was adjusted a little bit, so now it's 9.85 million once you took out the solar and the pavilion, storage pavilion. I mean, we can start there and we can have those meetings and see if people think it's too much and what they want to give up. Is that what you would think of that? Okay. Okay. No. 
so, so maybe, 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 maybe we can, maybe we can just read this. this. Got the echo. Okay, so that works. That works. You have to mute the whole. The whole. Yeah. Ooh, kind of cool. Does that work? Does that work? No. If you turn turn down the speakers all the way. Because it looks like it's looks muted, like it's but. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think we can just do that. Okay, square on. Jeff, I close this one down. Come on. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Can you hear me? Okay. So. We're getting cozy here. Um, so, sure, please. Uh. <sighs> So this was this was the the reason I had this on the agenda is is what are we presenting and um uh, what what I would suggest is I, I like your term terminology of findings so what we have found is what's wrong with the building and what it would cost to do everything that we found with the building um, what I would suggest that we we do is to have public meetings explaining that, explaining how much it would cost to fix everything that we come up with, um, and then ask the the audience, you know, what do you like and what would you change? And I think that will stimulate, okay you know, yeah. yeah. I think what we would find is we would get lots of questions, um, and I think we're pretty well prepared to answer those questions because we've asked all of those questions already. Um, and from that, uh, then I think we can come up with a final recommendation to the select board in December of what we think for, a bond. for a bond vote. Um, so that's what that's where my thinking is going. Is that you know we're at the stage where um, all of the it interim suggestions that the architect had none of them, none of them were very desirable, you know, to to my mind. He he, he did the exactly. He did exactly what we asked him to do, and um, I think what that that exercise proved is that they, you know, they, none of them were were uh, desirable, and and we've already done the major cost cutting by you know not doing the additions. Hmm? Can you hear David? Okay. Try that. What what? Where I'm going with this is, um, I I personally think that that's an an appropriate approach. Um, yeah. Inappropriate? Is that what you said? Appropriate. Appropriate. Okay. And uh, and uh, and uh, <laughs> uh, uh, appropriate. Sitting right next uh, yeah. to you, and I'm having. I, I thought it was. An, I think it's. An we can handle either one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what I, um, Fran and Dave Thomas, and and, I, and if asked we could say what we believe in individually or as a committee. Yeah. yeah. If, if and when asked, because yeah. um, Fran and Dave Thomas, in their input two meetings ago was that we should absolutely be, you know, we're the most knowledgeable, we should be prepared to say what we think we should do. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we could say, here's what we found, here's what we think, we wouldn't presume to tell the community what they should do, but, mm -hmm. but, we recommend X or Y. Or... And we've examined a lot of options with the, sure. and have come down to, we've eliminated a lot of things that were going to be more costly or not appropriate or right. too fancy or whatever. And yeah, this is, this is our best estimate of what it would take. So it's kind of, yeah. uh, you know, what I've been thinking, thinking about it as, as, as uh, what your affect is in, in a public meeting is this is what we've learned. 
this is what we've come up with. What do you like? What would be challenges? Is this something you could support? And what are your questions? Um, and before we, you know, come up, not to have this, this is it, taking the lead. What do you think about all of these things? And answer the same questions yeah. that you have. Which, which was the fate of the public safety building. They said, this, this, is, it. This, this, is, this is the best plan for us, and this is what it costs. And do you want, and does the, the community want it? Want, right. want, it, want it? And the answer was no. And I think and the, the, the when part of that is um, you have to be able to come to our understanding. We need to, to come to some of the select board, either some past interest or stuff like that, and we're going to be talking about can anyone else hear Jeff? Barbie? Can you Jeff, hear I think you, you got to, whoever's talking has got to like turn the screen towards them so yeah, that the I microphone thought, will pick you yeah, up. We, whoever was talking, yeah, we couldn't hear them. I couldn't. Okay, that was me. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. um, um, so I think the way we, we uh, or the, the timing on what we need to do is to, to begin to schedule public meetings now with that question it's and here's what we've learned this is what it'll cost what based on think? what we've learned yeah. what do you think what do you like what, what do you change? like what would you change and then um at the end of of that process whatever process we come up with um we have to have a a a, a definite recommendation to the select board in december so they can set a bond number in january and after that you know, and that's where it ties in with uh, what uh, the comment that we got from uh, Fran and Dave Thomas is, yes, this is what we recommend. You know, this yeah. this is what we've come down to after our public process, after, uh, you know, these all of this work that we've done. Um, this is what we suggest is what should happen. But if we if we have an affect of taking input now, right. I think it'll be received better. Right. Uh, and frankly, so, some of the input that I've gotten so far is, <laughs> you may not believe this, but it's, this is not enough, you know, that we should be, you know, adding space for, you know, programs like Radiate. You know, that's, that was one of the su suggestions that I had. So, I mean, and, and we could take that or leave it, at, you know, right. after we get through this, this, this process. Yes. But does that make sense as far as affect and how we would present this? Yeah, I think we're getting consensus. What? Yeah, I. Can you guys hear me? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, this is Jake. I, I guess the Dave. One of the so the exercise we went through with the architect was asking them, you know, sort of where we can cut and what what would that look like if we wanted to pull back a little, kind of moderate or like a lot. The problem is all the dependencies, right? So you can't just like scratch line items and it gets extremely complicated really quickly, I think. And when you try to sort of have an open conversation about sort of the options here, it, it requires so much background information about the building and the construction process. And, you know, so it becomes, it seemed to me pretty difficult to kind of like, tease apart certain certain things without saying, well, yeah, you can cut that, then you still need to do this other part anyway. And there's that's the only time you're gonna be able to do it. It just becomes a difficult conversation. So I think it was Lisa had mentioned and, and we've had some other subsequent conversation about kind of carving this up into some headlines. Yeah. Right? Like mm -hmm. you know you getting a building, you know, insulated and, and or safety issues or whatever, just have some big kind of high level things that we could put some numbers on. And I think part of what that helps to do is to, and I think this is going to be really critical when we're having this conversation in public, is not just throw around this number of like 9.85 or 10.2 or whatever it is, because that's a big, scary number. But if you break it down and you and you give people a sense of like, this is what this portion is going toward, right? Like this is what this portion is going toward. This is what this portion is going toward. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like that makes it all a little bit more palatable. The, the other piece that I would throw in that I, I think I kind of said, 
in our last meeting as well, is that I know for myself, and I think this is a very common kind of psychological, you know, kind of condition, which is that when you hear a number like this, it just sounds huge. But if you hear in relationship to what, right? And I think part of it is we're very contextual beings. And if we can talk about what the $15 million version of this is, the $10 million and like the $5 million and why we ended up sort of at the 10 million, I think it makes it feel less expensive. Like it's, there's some, mm -hmm. you know, belt tightening that took place, right? That this isn't just, this is everything we want all thrown in. And this is sort of the, the platinum version, right? Because I don't think that the community is going to respond well to that. But do you think the community will stop, respond well and feeling like this is the moderate version? And so I do think there's some element of talking about what we didn't do mm -hmm. or so, didn't include. So I personally, I agree with all of that, mm -hmm. except the piece of, of um, breaking it down in, in, into sections, the headlines, and, and adding a number to that. Because trying to, you know, what's the historic preservation number? You know, mm -hmm. I don't know. You know, what? The energy number is actually harder to tease out than it seems. Mm -hmm. um, well, maybe those aren't the headlines. Yeah, the post office. So that because you know, that's kind of its own little piece. I went through and oh, I went through with what Lisa said and rewrote the FAQ okay. and I did some. I don't know if you saw it. I, I did send it. Well, yeah. So I went through and just. Kept the beginning, but then I said I added a lot to to one. Well, I added the number from last meeting about what new would cost, an additional two to three million, and that's yep. not the site. That's just the building. Yep, I think so, that's and then that's a fair number. I actually, I broke out energy efficiency, addressing flooding issues, the historic look of the building. How does the police department get accommodated? What will change on the post office? How will town how will town services be accommodated during construction? We've had all these questions, yeah. and you know, will all the current tenants stay in the building? This is excellent. Asked, does this pay for any work on the library? Karen brought that up. No, it doesn't, except for the site. And then how does this new site plan improve the campus? This is really good. And then um, where can I find more information and who can I talk to? So, I, you know, um, you know, so this is a, did we get so that? Thank you, Lisa. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> I, I added a couple sections based on your comments from last week. Oh, thank you. I, I, I can send it out again. Yeah, I thought I, I did. Would, well, maybe you did. I, I, don't, I don't know. I've been it. trying to put the Only dates. Only if they help. Uh, pardon? Only if they help. <laughs> they did help because I, I hadn't thought about the people who are interested in the historic building. And I was just thinking about all the different comments we've had mm -hmm. through the whole process Actually, and what people I, might might be interested in. I got that from Martha Nye. That was oh, kind of where that okay comment then. It wasn't my brain that produced that. <laughs> Thank but, you, Martha. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she just heard Well, so um, yeah. I think that we could do a presentation with um, uh, the visuals of the site plan, mm -hmm. um, and we can assign um, uh, an elevation. The, the architects have been reluctant to do uh, an elevation of the building until we settled on what it is that we're presenting. And I think we're settled on what it is that we're mm -hmm. presenting. Um, uh, mm -hmm. And then we and could- the historic picture that we found. I love that picture. Oh, oh, um, yeah. um, and, um, and then we could walk our, our walk through the frequently asked questions. Maybe each of us take a couple, so it's not all one person presenting. Um, mm -hmm. And um, and then you know open it up for questions. Yeah. This is what we've learned. This is we feel is appropriate. Yeah. But we want to hear from folks as to you know what are your questions? What do you like? What would you change? And I I suspect. They'll go, well, you know, uh, do you really need to do the windows and the HVAC? And the answer somebody's is... Gonna yeah. post, somebody's going to bring up department. the post... Somebody's going to bring up the department. Somebody's going to bring up the post office. And we can answer all of those questions. But, um, uh, you know, we can go through this first. I think it'd be great if each of the committee did a piece. Mm -hmm. um, 
and then just see how that goes. But I think we yeah we'll do the first one and then we can tweak it yeah. if, for summer. Yeah, I was thinking no more than an hour and a half. No more than an hour and a half. And, maybe and maybe a half an hour of presentation and an hour for questions. That would be great. Because so, I don't. If it's a, if they have copies of the FAQ to refer to, and you know we might want to do that breakout the question he had the cost break out of just yeah yeah yes we'll need that as what's well what's the like all the fees the soft costs yeah i think that helps for people who know what building yeah. is yep. about that would be good yeah. um so does that sound like a plan does that sound like you know kind of enough of a plan to do a presentation <laughs> I, th I actually think it does it's particularly for mm -hmm. the first one um, and we might we might change it after that, but I think it, you know I kind of think oh Lisa, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Anyway, no. yeah, uh, definitely do a dry run before a friendly audience. You know, a few. But people. I was, mm -hmm. I was just thinking, is there a small group we could get together and do it? I, I'd be willing to listen to it. I mean, it's oh, yeah. I've, I've heard pieces of it. You know, it'd be great to hear the whole thing um, as you intend to present it. Or do you want it for the library, or what? What do you think would be? I mean, the library trustees are down to Amy and I and Matt and okay. Kathy. So, but we could add Amy and I and Matt and Kathy and Lisa. You know, we could just yeah. mm -hmm. invite some people. Well, I'm beginning to think that. Um, it would be nice to do not not the big the historical society has a lot of people that are voters and are pretty vocal so maybe that's not the first group maybe. I would try with <laughs> hold them back a little bit yeah yeah okay I think, you know in, in doing a presentation you'll find out what you don't know I mean even if you think you know it yeah. it's it's yeah, great yeah. if you do that in front of a friendly audience and you know you stumble you go wait a minute, I got to back up check my notes whatever you know you get that wrinkle out and uh, yeah. you do it in public. Well, maybe we do an invitation, you know, like uh, Karen Yagi, uh, Martha and I, mm -hmm. um, you know, Lisa, yeah. you know, people who have, you know, have been up to date with this pretty much, you know, not maybe all the way, but, mm -hmm. you know. Um, yeah, Martha doesn't feel like she has been. So that's good, though. Mm -hmm. Because, yeah. Um, um, and I could ask, I could ask if the, Matt or Matt, Kathy want to yeah. come. You know, so I think we're going down the right. I think we're going down the right road. Uh, how do we do a how do we do a presentation with our committee and it not be a public meeting? Well, it has to be a public meeting. Okay, so then it's a public meeting, and um, one of the things. So you know, we have these meetings, and you know, frankly, there's a few people that do tune in, which I don't know how many committees like this have people tuning in. But um, yeah, but uh, so if we if we advertise that we are doing uh, town center renovation presentation, it, is it to like meetings that we have here and we see how many people we get? Well, how about if we just make it our next meeting? Uh, Josh has his hand up. Oh, Josh. Oh, maybe you were going down this road already, but I would warn it as preparation of presentation for um, project or something along that line, those lines with preparation and not really broadcast as a dry run. Invite a few few people. If anybody shows up, that's fine. But then it's sort of a working session of we walk through it and we stop, we refine. So we're preparing, but in front of sort of a small live audience. And then when you really want to get the word out, then it's from here, the town center committee's nice. presentation. Hmm. I think that, that I think that makes sense to me. Um, and, you know, it could be our next scheduled meeting. Uh, I think our next scheduled meeting, at least I have it on on my calendar is November 2nd. Um, yeah, if we invited people to an existing meeting, we could invite, you know, Karen, these people, and it could be warned as a meeting yeah. and we're we're finding our presentation, doing a presentation, practice presentation or something. So it doesn't make look that like the, it's the one agenda project. item. Yeah. Or do it with yeah. less than a quorum of your committee. Pardon? I was, yeah. I was thinking if you did it with less than a quorum of your committee, it's not really a meeting. Um, you can talk freely, but it's not 
That's oh, right. It doesn't, doesn't have the weight. And, and another thought is since we do have that la extra Monday here in this month, we've got really three weeks till the next meeting. We could have a meeting in two weeks and then also again on the second. That would just give us a little more time to maybe put some ideas together of what we want to do. Um, mm -hmm. Because if we're really trying to get to a bond vote in December, that's going to come. Yeah, we, we need to be <laughs> we need to be moving on this. Um, you know, my problem is I have a conflict on the 26th. Um, there's the ideal the ideal conference in at at Spruce Peak, um, mm -hmm. um, but I could leave that early and 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 do this. Uh, you know, I think having a deadline for us would be a good thing. And uh, uh, you know, and and trying trying to get this together, and I think doing a dry run, and then maybe doing two, three yeah. in November. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. we should do at least a couple because these these after we ha set the bond number, we're still going to have to do some public right. meetings. Right, right. They'll they'll, they'll so be relatively easy. Right? Compared to this because those will just be presentation of facts and you know okay uh, so th this sounds like a plan to me so it sounds to me like um we could take um Lori's faq yeah. piece she can send it out to us um perhaps you know the committee can look it over and sign up for different questions which and give me feedback if you see things that should be changed that they feel comfortable addressing. Um, um, I, I'm I'm comfortable with taking whatever's left, but um, <laughs> uh, but I don't want to dominate the meeting, no. you know. No. So and I think it would be um, uh, it would be great to have you know different voices mm -hmm. uh, do this. How how, yeah. did, how did you feel about that? Jake? I well, I like energy. You could do the energy. Yeah. So. No, this isn't about picking. I have no problem presenting anything anyone wants to present. I'm just thinking that I think what we really need is a presentation outline. Like, what are we actually, what's the story we're trying to tell? In what order do we want to tell that story? We can hand out an FAQ and let people read it. I, I don't think we need to present an FAQ. So. But you could yeah. take that. You could take the headers off of each of this. And it, it, it's, well, it, you wouldn't even need all these. I, right. I mean, but, I think the first three things on the first page. Why is this renovation project needed now? This is what right. we come to. These are the highlights of the renovation plan. And right. so, Jake, yeah. finish your thought. Yeah. yeah so. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I, I'm a firm believer in context. I've already said that twice, mm -hmm. I think, so far in my comments. I think part of what every time I see people really freak out, push back on something, it's because they don't get the context of what's going on, right? It's just all of a sudden, it's like you're asking me to pay a bunch of money for something. I don't get yeah. it. And so I feel like we need to tell the story here. I, yeah. You know, and I think there's just so much to be said for sort of like, we've been meeting for four years, you know, mm -hmm. and we were charged by the select board to figure out a solution for this, this aging building, right? Mm -hmm. And, and just sort of setting the context for what it is that all of this work and all of this discussion and all of this money that we're asking for, what it, what it means, right? So what's the meaning behind it? I just, what I don't want to do is spend all of our time basically taking what's in that document and converting it into each of us presenting a section. I just don't think that that's a useful exercise. What, what I do think is useful is send it to everyone in advance, ask them to, to have read it and come prepared to discuss it. And then we can tell our story. And then we can, you know, roughly, we can't, it's hard to not have a discussion without priming the people, people a little bit, but then just say, you know, we're looking at, uh, you know, a, a comprehensive project for this. It's a, it's a, it's a, multi, it's a generational project, and we want to make sure that everybody has their questions answered associated with this. And I, and I, yeah. 
I just am afraid we get in and it's like, there's this section and this is what we're going to do. And this is what we thought about. And this is where we ended up. And then there's this section and this is what we thought about. And this is mm -hmm. what we considered. And this is where we ended up. And I'm just afraid that that no, isn't going to get people there. I guess I is what I'm trying to say. Turn the lap toward top, please. Thank you, Lori. Thank you. Good to say again. Um, I like the idea of sending the FAQ out in advance because we might get thoughtful, more thoughtful questions and discussion because they at least have some context. And I actually agree with Jake about telling the story. I mean, I tried to tell the story of how we got here and there, but somebody just saying it, you know. I have in here the select board formed the town center committee and then so I can do, do this. So so it, 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 and frankly, I, that's kind of the role that I would like to take is mm -hmm. is putting it in context. Uh, yeah. You know, I think it's appropriate for the for the chair to do that. Yeah. Um, and uh, and, and I still like the idea of having multiple voices on this. So okay. so, right. so um, uh, we don't have really time to draft a presentation before next meeting to do a presentation. Um, so what what I, I'll, I'll take responsibility for is um, uh, coming up with a uh, context, come up, coming up with uh, the introduction. This is, okay, this is what we're here for. Um, this is where we're at. This is, this is how we got here. Um, uh, I can do that <clears throat> and, um, and try to get to questions as quickly as possible from mm -hmm. from the public and if different people could be ready to answer the different sections you know that would be i think right. a more holistic presentation mm -hmm. does that make sense okay i'm like getting it. i'm getting nods here yes um nods, I, yes i see lisa i'm sorry no. lisa that's all right i'll just blurt things out um yeah i'm picturing this and jeff i'll tell you if um if the presentation can get people to put themselves in that building as a worker or as a visitor, you're really going to get them because, you know, picture someone coming to work. Uh, they've got a, you know, the, the, first they go up the creaky stairs. Are they going to fall through this time? No, they won't. Um, their window, you know, near their desk is drafty. It's a little cold. So I got to wear an extra sweater. I got one in the drawer here because I need it all the time. Yeah. You know, all those things. <laughs> um, I, I'm making up some of this, but you know what I mean? Everybody has a, a, a uh, commonality on levels of comfort, you know, everybody has worked for a living one way or another. Anything that you can tie this building and the improvements to, to a person's own experience in life is going to help them understand and come on board with this. So, uh, you know, you don't want to overdo it, but I think if you can somehow put people in the position of someone working on the second floor, working on the third floor, coming in as a visitor, um, well, I think we should do this presentation here if, we, if, if at all possible. Um, and I, you know, as much as I would like to see, you know, 30 people um, uh, come to these presentations, I kind of doubt it. Um, and, and you know, it, actually the, the, the hybrid meetings have been working. It's, it's, yeah. We get many more people in, except for tonight. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but they have been working. Amy, did you try your best to get rid of them? And look, some still showed up. <laughs> Amy, yeah, I, I just wanted to echo what Lisa said. I think the more you can, um, and and what Jake said too, the more you can tell a compelling story, the yeah. more likely we are to to get um, support and and empathy. And I think one of the things to consider is like talking about, you know, everybody knows Linda, everybody knows, everybody loves Linda. She's the face of the building. And if you can include in that story, Jeff, some of the things that Linda and Duncan and Josh have to deal with working in the building, some of the mm -hmm. responsibilities that have fallen to them because of the disrepair of the building. Mm -hmm. I think when people really know what the building employees are working on and having to to run around and do on a daily basis, that that is a very compelling argument about why we need to do a lot of these renovations. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, you know, mm -hmm. and, and we have uh, recent flood experience. So, you know, there's, uh, you know, that we can, yeah. that, that won't be hard to make that point that this building can and will flood in the future. And, and I think has and will. the whole 
the whole aspect of no sprinklers, not a real fire alarm system. So safety uh, is also something that we want our employees to be. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm partial because of my situation, but you know, Duncan's up on ladders, changing light bulbs. He's down in the basement, which is an unhealthy environment. Like our, our employees, their health is at risk being in this yeah. building a lot of the times. Yeah. 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 I, I, so yes. I feel like we've got, uh, we've got the working outline uh, of, of the presentation. All this stuff down in the, uh, yeah. Uh, and I think that, um, we can give it a we can give it a dry run or even a, you know it's frankly if we get those people in the room we'll get um knowledgeable questions um and uh it'll help us improve our presentation i want to ask christine and katie and chrissy I think that's a great idea. because they've been involved in the project but not for a while and but you know they were they were they were the first chairs of the committee so yeah it would be good to get their input Okay, well, this is actually a good audience. Um, Karen, Martha, uh, Katie, Christy, Christine, Matt, Lisa, Matt, Kathy, Matt Lisa, Kathy. That's the other trustee. Okay. But you've got a pretty good, I mean, Matt, uh, Lisa's got an idea. Yep. Lisa? Uh, just a question. Have surrounding towns, has anyone renovated their town center, if they have one, or... We have we have investigated that in the past. Yeah, okay. Waterbury was an example. Uh, South Burlington, mm -hmm. Hartford, Hartford, yes, Hartford. Water, Waterbury's first bomb failed. Okay. Okay. They drastically scaled back the project. Yeah, maybe we don't want to go there then. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we have we, we have just curious, you know, to just show that you know we've we've checked other people's pulses and you know their yeah. their experience also, just in case. Okay, so um uh. You know, we started late with this meeting and um, and we still have some other things to talk about. So um, I, I'm feeling fairly comfortable that we uh, the other thing that I'll do is I'll contact the architect to uh, for visuals yeah. uh, and the, the final uh, budget number sheet. You know, I think the two handouts that we have are the FAQ piece and the um, and that, maybe, maybe that's some, some budget some if they could rework those budgets. Yep. Yeah, the budget, the big numbers. Mm -hmm. They just had break it broken out soft costs and uh, mm -hmm. and all the permitting fees and all of that stuff that goes along with it, mm -hmm. and the basic construction number, mm -hmm. and so and and those already separate out quite. Yeah, <laughs> I no, mean it, the, it, the basic construction number is not not most of the project. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, okay, and and our next scheduled meeting is November second. Is that too late? If we're gonna get, did we do um uh, the and the reason it was November second is that the select board um uh, we meet of the uh the Thursday before a select board meeting and the next select board meeting is on the sixth. Um, mm -hmm. so um, should should we meet on the twenty sixth and do this? You think? Are you going to be here or are you going to be calling in? No, no, I'll come. Well, you know, okay. this will, I, I, I can I can leave that conference. Um, um, is it too soon for the arc? My only concern is that he'll do it. Okay. Um, I would be in so favor of meeting on the 26th just to do the you know practice presentation, and that gives us more time to do more formal presentations in November yeah. and early December. Okay, do I'm we want to pick that. any other dates in, uh, in November? We want do we want to continue to meet on the on the second as well? That's a week I later. I think we should. If we I would if think we so because then we can de we can debrief how everything went. So that would yeah. give us a, a week to make any changes before we have to go and, and do the presentation again. Okay. And um and what other dates? So you know there's mm -hmm. I, I can't meet on the twenty third of November. I'm busy that day. <laughs> um Funny thing. Funny thing. Uh, we have another scheduled meeting on the 16th. But but I think we I think we should do at least one of these on a weekend, not on a not on a weekend night. Mm -hmm. Because I think there are a lot of people who can't or won't come out to an evening weekday evening meeting. Okay. Um. So, uh, what weekend? We've got the fourth, the eleventh. Do you want me to check with Karen Yagi and see if? 
I don't want to schedule it on a weekend where they have a concert at the round church. She was very upset. <laughs> she would be very upset about that. Those are usually on Sunday, aren't they? Uh, yeah, and Sunday was when she said was the best. In the evening, right? So did you want to do like a nine o'clock meeting? Is that no, what? a two o'clock meeting. A two o'clock meeting? On a Sunday. On a Sunday. People go to church, but then Sunday afternoons are less. You may not want to compete with the NFL. <laughs> well, Sunday. you know, we're never going to not compete with everything. <laughs> That's true. Which is going to draw people more, church or football? Uh, about equal. <laughs> Um, in my household neither <laughs> uh, so um, Veterans Day is the 11th I don't know if we want to Ooh, right. uh, that's a Saturday uh, so a Sunday is the 12th oh daylight savings is gone let's, dude. let's pick a tentative date and I'll run it by Karen just to make sure okay. they're not because they have the historical society meetings on Sunday afternoons too okay how about the 5th November 5th is that mm -hmm. a Sunday Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and why don't we pick one more date? And again, it is, we can change these uh, at our next meeting mm -hmm. or our debrief meeting. Yeah. Um, uh, and want to do another weekend? Or? We have, you know, this would this would work okay. So we have, if we have um, a regularly scheduled meeting on the second on a Thursday to debrief from our presentation. We have another presentation on that Sunday, the 5th, mm -hmm. and then our regularly scheduled meeting is the 16th, and we could have either that be invitation or, you know, and, you know, I think they can be open, open after, meeting, after uh, the, you know, try to, and try to promote it, you know, you, you know, give both dates in the, okay, in an invitation and let people choose. Okay. It's a busy month, um, but, um, and then we could put all of these pieces up on the website yep. as well and let yep. people find them. Yep, we can do it all on the website too. So, um, okay, uh, I think we have a tentative plan and we have a, uh, some tentative dates and what we're presenting, which was what I was hoping mm -hmm. to do with uh, that uh, first agenda item. Um, please do. Early on in this conversation, we were saying having the site plan yet elevations in the historic photo would be, would be nice as part of our presentation. I still think that in telling the story, they they would be appropriate to be able to put up on a screen or, or yeah. go on a, on a board or pass around in some way. Yeah. I think I'm gonna ask uh, Andrew to do boards. Yeah. And um, uh, and send the you know. Uh, and if we have uh, them, we can put them up on the we, screen. We can do too. that as well. So, and it occurred to me, I wonder, what the original cost of this building was. I looked it up. Oh, it's actually, you? yeah, it's in uh, uh, Harriet Ridge's. Oh, it is? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's like 35. And what the inflation, what the inflation adjusted cost of the building is, is not close, right? Okay, too bad. No. <laughs> but what it doesn't take into consideration is. Was uh, that 35 for both halves or was that 35,000 for only one? I think half? it was for one half, but. Yeah, I think it was the second half. It was built in two pieces. Um, but even so, um, it, it doesn't come close. But it, you know, it, it, I think it also doesn't a direct inflation doesn't represent impact on income of the people at the time. You know, so it it was a significant impact at the time. Oh, yeah. Or building costs. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Can okay. I make one more comment because yeah. it came up that OCCC, Radiate, and MMCTV are having an open house on October 21st. I don't think it's appropriate for us to be there because two of those entities are not in the renovation built, the renovated building. <laughs> so I think it's problematic to be promoting. I think we have our dates. And yeah, yeah, yeah. We have, um, They're uh, doing their own if thing. If we have boards, we could leave them up in the building so people who come well this is the 21st so we might not even have boards we might yet. not have them by then but yeah. you know, you know, i don't i don't i just feel a little i feel like there are people like christine wernicke that want to do an addition just to house radiate and i think there's going to be people that feel that we'll find, way we'll find out so i wouldn't want to jump the gun and have plans there with them not even in the building. Okay. It feels a little weird. Okay. Um, 
Okay, we are. Uh, All right, we have, go on. We have a, uh, you know, can we do this quickly on the library update? Uh, so we have it, we do have a construction update. It, um, and I think it would probably good to be make it make a decision on this because is Alex still here? He's gone. He's gone. He's taken the windows and run away. <laughs> sure. So uh, we have we have an update from uh, uh, our contractor who's been working on uh, the library building. Yeah, uh, and he's, he's updated his cost estimates for uh, uh, for variety. I could just of different send things. this to everybody. Um, Lisa, did you have one more comment? Oh yeah, sorry. I, I, things run through my mind. Um, any business uh, proposition has a null case, as you probably know. The null case here is doing nothing to the building, but that yeah. has a cost. That's kind of like the minimum cost that is going to hit the town regardless. If we do nothing, yeah. here's what it will cost you. Uh, heat loss, you right. know, insurance uh, right. premiums, whatever. So okay. just to throw that out. Health and safety. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not being able to hire employees who don't yes, want to work in a exactly. bad building. Mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> exactly right. It's not frivolous. That's actually true. I know. Okay. I know Tony Anthony made that point in the Hinesburg Police department he thinks he holds on to people because it's a nice space to work in yeah and mm -hmm. i think mm -hmm. yeah um, so the update on the, um, uh, on the library involves uh, uh the roof plate and also um completing uh the painting of the exterior of the building and repairing the wood and re re repairing the wood Anything and painting so wood. um we've had quite a bit of painting done on the on the building and repairs to the exterior but um, mm -hmm. not, not much painting, but repairs to the exterior and the windows. Um, um, only the little band on the towers. Not there's not been an extensive. They they did the the part that was the worst. So um, so where we're at with that is we now have cost estimates to um, uh, to do uh, uh, remaining repairs, um, and there's still some uncertainty uh, about the slate roof on the main part of the building. They did. That's what, how he did the assessment. So you know, I would suggest that we don't. I, he's not going to be here in the next two weeks. I don't know. We, won't, I, we wouldn't be able to start in the next two weeks. Oh no. Yeah. So um, uh, I, I would suggest we table this. Um, right. I mean, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and do an ARPA request. For the same hundred and fifty thousand that we put in, okay. but now I have real a real idea of what that will cover for the select board. Um, it, it would cover the wood repairs and the painting, and a, a contingency fee. And that, that would next, be helpful, you know. The so next meeting is next is Monday. Yeah. Josh, can I can I do it for Monday? I know you sent me an email, or is it too late to get on this? Uh, it depends on what well, you're is. doing. You're no, doing Monday, what? actually. I'm sorry. No, we're not doing budget Monday. Um, okay. I don't know exactly. The agenda is not gigantic. Um, I don't know exactly what I can put you on there. What do you need? Like 10 minutes or so, probably? Yeah, because I could send you the. I mean, the select board could have my request and the building report ahead of time. So he needs that. Yeah, if you can, yeah. if you can send that to me, yeah, tomorrow morning, um, okay. ten minutes for ARPA request. Okay. And then um, this, this, yeah, yeah. We also and this and the roof may be the library still has twenty six million dollars. The Department of Libraries that they still haven't granted out, and we haven't seen the applications yet. I would be so. Reluctant, who knows? Frankly, I'd be real reluctant to replace the entire um, uh, the roof. No, I think he had he. He said, "I'll send this to you, and you got. We can talk about it more next next time if we need. No, we're only doing the presentation next time. Does this committee need to do something? No, Lori, for you to no. for you to take action. No. Okay. So I think so. Lori's going to take action. With, yeah. 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 I'll send it out. I'll send you a copy and I'll, what of what I sent to Josh." So this, this is a good segue into uh, the next agenda item is funding sources. So mm -hmm. uh, since our last meeting, um, you know, we have been able to identify some potential funding sources. Um, one is um, FEMA has, um, in addition to, to doing buyouts and repairs to flood damaged buildings, 
Um, they also have monies for mitigation to prevent damage in the future for oh. building. Um, oh, and it's not an insubstantial amount. It's like $30 million for the state. Um, uh, when I talked to the um, uh, the administrator of that program at the state uh, today, it's, her name is Stephanie Smith. I guess, Josh, you've talked with her in the past as well for other projects. But I asked her if this project would be um, suitable. And she said, yes. Um, and I asked, you know, said, I, I tried to divvy out the budget on what was flood related costs. You know, the, uh, the post office has quite a bit of uh, flood re related costs, but there's also um, uh, gutting the basements, uh, mm -hmm. putting in the flood relief valve, right. um, uh, and uh, uh, moving, moving the mechanicals. The reason we're moving the mechanicals into a new room is specifically to get it out of the floodplain. Um, you know, so those are all flood related costs. It adds up to more than a million dollars. There's more too. There's all the spots where you have to go back in yep. the site work. Yep. So, so I yeah. tried to, I you know, the uh, the architects came up with a budget that had 300 line items on it, and I tried to go through that and uh, and say, well, it could you know, is this related? Um, and I came up with about one a million million to uh, a flood related costs. Um, and, uh, but that's just me, you know, that's just me, yeah. you know, playing around with their, uh, with their spreadsheet. Um, what I think might be worth doing, um, and I'll talk to the architects about doing this, is um, it, this is outside of their scope, is to try to figure out, you know, what materials we would need for a FEMA grant is not, that was not in our, their original scope. Um, and some of that's engineering you know, with uh, uh, engineering ventures. Um, they've done a lot of the work, but putting it together into a format that FEMA could accept, um, it, it would be additional work. So if the committee's, com yeah. Yeah. So if the committee's comfortable with that, I'll talk to um, Andrew about doing that. We do have time. This is not um, a, a time urgent thing, although, you know, I'd like to do it sooner rather than later because I suspect there's going to be a lot of demand for FEMA money. Um, yeah. But um, the state buildings alone, they won't make a decision on it until like the middle of next summer anyway. So, um, yeah. but if the committee is comfortable with that, uh, I'll I'll suggest to the architects to organize, look at what those FEMA materials are, what it would take to put together an application and give us a cost for what that would be. And we could mm -hmm. uh, make that recommendation to the select board. So moved. Okay. So moved, yes. Um, the, the next item was the ARPA request. Now, the library is one ARPA request. The other ARPA request, what we've discussed, but we've never presented to the select board, um, is requesting money for um, uh, renewables, the solar component of this, uh, and also um, the higher efficiency equipment. Um, and those are line items that are identifiable in that spreadsheet as well. Um, and I can't remember how much it was, but it was, it was something, we were pretty close. It was between 300 and 500,000, something like that. Um, what I can, what I have a feeling what's gonna happen with the ARPA money is it's gonna come down where there are competing interests. Mm -hmm. You know, and this is not something that we can decide. It's not something the ARPA committee can decide. It's really something for the select board to decide in, 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 uh, mm -hmm. in my mind. Um, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't ask, and uh, you know, and I, I, you know, I right. think they can and should uh, make a decision. Um, so I can refine that number from from the spreadsheet. Like I say, it's between three and five hundred. I think we should ask, you know. And I think uh, if if I can have time, and Josh, this is up to you. If I can have time on Monday, I would uh -huh. I would do that. Um, you know, I don't know what else is on our agenda. But that would probably take another ten or fifteen minutes to to talk that through. What 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 do you think, Josh? First, what does the committee think about doing that? Yeah, I think that's a good, good idea. Yeah. And and two, Josh, what do you think? Do we have do we have time on Monday to be able to do that? If not, yeah, I, I think could... we can. No, Monday's not. It, it's getting larger, but it's not. A, it's not an <laughs> overbearing meeting with anything that's like. Hopefully, going to take a ton of time. Will you get me an outline, or you just want to sort of speak to it when you get there? 
I think I could give you an outline tomorrow. Um, okay. And, and uh, it's it's not for decision. They don't have to make the decision, oh. but I want to get it on the table as something when they consider the uh, the final ARPA allocations. Okay, so I'll put it as a discussion, and I'll put it, it since it's really just going to be you, I'll put it a little bit towards the end of the meeting. That'd so that be fine. way we're not pushing somebody out who's got, uh, who wants to be there. So, yeah, that's no problem. I'll put it as a discussion or request, and if you get me an outline sometime by tomorrow morning, I'll include that as well. Okay. Uh -huh. um, okay. Is uh, there a timeline on which the select board? To make a decision on how they're going to allocate that money? Not necessarily. So um, uh, the the ARPA committee, so the question is, is it our timeline for uh, ARPA, ARPA decisions? Um, I'll, I'll translate. For the, <laughs> for the, uh, computer. We're tired of moving the computer. <laughs> um, the, uh, the original ARPA guidelines were to allocate the money by the end of 2024 and spend it by the end of 2026. So we're, we're perfectly in that window. Um, the way we took the money was as a revenue replacement, which means the money's in the bank right now. We have this money. We have $1.2 million in the bank uh, for ARPA and we've allocated about half, Josh, I think something on that order uh, for a variety of different projects, uh, sidewalks and uh, you know, cemetery fences and, you know, a, a few other things. Um, the, the, the biggest ticket item is still out there at the moment is uh, we just appointed a new committee for uh, looking at Volunteers Green and Browns Court. Um, and we identified, we gave them a number of $450,000. Um, and I, I'm not sure that they're going to be able. To, they're either they'll either come up with seven hundred fifty thousand dollars worth of projects, or it'll be less than four hundred fifty thousand dollars. That's that's my my, my prediction. Um, hmm. uh, it's going to be hard to figure out how to spend this money at Volunteer Green without building something, and building something in Volunteers Green is going to be problematic because of the floodplain. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So. Um, but there is a committee that's charged with looking into it. Um, they have six months until March to come up with a proposal. Um, and um, I would suggest, although we have not formalized this, I would suggest that the select board is going to need to be making some decisions next spring on, you know, if we have, you know, a million dollars worth of request and we've only got $500,000, then what are, what are they going to do with it? Um, so in order to, to even be considered, you got to ask. Um, and so uh -huh. my suggestion is, is that we prep the select board with an ask uh, uh -huh. and then see how it goes. If we don't have a successful bond vote, then it doesn't matter. You know, then we'll right. do something else. You know? But uh, uh, I think that where the rubber is going to hit the road is March, be my guess. Yeah. Okay, so that... That's okay. I'll try. I'll do that on Monday night. Um, yeah. The a, another possibility for solar in particular um, is um, uh, there. There are places. There are towns in Vermont, and I've done one of these myself, or two actually, in Heinsburg, where private third-party developers do pay for uh, and own a solar array on somebody else's building. Uh, typically a public building. Um, and th th there are pluses and minuses to doing that. Um, but it, 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 it's, it's actually more common than you would think. It's, it's called a, uh, a third party power purchase agreement. Um, that's a possibility. Um, I like the idea of taking the solar out of the bond vote. And that's how we, it was one of the ways we got down to 9.8 is we took that project out and we can figure out how to add it back in with alternative financing without um, uh, doing a right. bond vote. Um, so I think that's another pot of money that we can, we can use if we need to. Right. Um, wh what I would be really reluctant to do one way or the other is not uh, beef up the roof rafters in the, um, uh, right. in the post office to accommodate solar in the future. I think that would be short-sighted. Yeah. 
possible. We, and, we can Andrew, answer that question. And Andrew said they have to take apart the roof anyway to do everything else. Yeah. So they might as well just do that too. That's not an, a lot of money in the end. No, that it's about, it was about 67,000 as I recall. Um, <clears throat> the one other um, uh, funding source for a different aspect of this uh, is for the green space. I think I'm gonna call it green space. The mm -hmm. uh, uh, the site work renovations mm -hmm. that aren't necessary for um, stormwater uh, retention, but for more for as an amenity for the for the town. Um, uh, it, frankly, I think that's one of the more attractive pieces mm -hmm. of the whole project, um, and it's I think it's something that we should highlight. Um, but that could be something that is fundraised for um, uh, separately outside yeah. of the bond. Yeah. Um, I think no matter what, we're going to have to bond for the entire amount, including that. Mm -hmm. But I think that we could fundraise for uh, a good portion of that, if not all of it, um, uh, through private fundraising. And or, you know, we could be, we could ask the Conservation Reserve Fund. Um, that would be mm -hmm. another potential source because it would fit within their mission. Um, uh, mm -hmm. And they might be receptive to that. There, we have something on the order of $250,000 in the Conservation Reserve Fund right. right now. Actually, the library building fits in their mission, It does, too. too. It does, too. So, so We have a lot of money. It's figuring out the best place to get the money from that makes the most sense or would make the most sense to taxpayers. You know, so that's that's pretty much the select board's responsibility, you what know. Uh, it was like a million dollars. I think. You know, I think... The two hundred thousand was stormwater. That, that, that might come out in the public meetings. The people might ask about that. What if we take the site work out? I think that, you know, I can see people saying, "So take we, this out." What if, what happens if we take that out? Or we you know? we can explain that. So you know, we yeah. think we should include this, but this is you know, what do you think? You know, this is you could ask, ask them back. Yeah. You know, um, and there might be an alternative way to to uh, to do that. Um, so that's another potential yeah. funding source. So I think, you know. Yeah. It would be good for people at the, people might ask, have you explored grants? I yep. could see that as a question. And we have a really good I think so. handle on all of what's going on with money, pots of money that we could, you know, we might have to bond for the full amount, but we can fully intend to keep. I think so. Keep applying for grants. I think so. That are um, appropriate. I think, yeah. you know. The historic preservation money is problematic, but we can explain yeah, why. No. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. So, I, you know, one of the things that's been encouraging to me as I've talked to people around town about this project um, is when I tell them it's, you know, nine, ten million dollars. Um, the, the, the most common response I've got is I'm not surprised, you know, with uh, uh, with construction costs of what they've done over the past year um, and mm -hmm. the state of the building. It really isn't, you know, it was hard to hear it the first time, but I think the more <laughs> people hear it, the more they realize what it is. And and we have to tell the compelling story of yeah. why, how we got there yes. and why it's important. Yeah. Yeah. The few people I've talked about it, they don't doubt that it's a good idea. They, they doubt that there's, uh, that the time is right to pay for it. So, you know, I I think if, from what I'm hearing for funding sources, if we have a $10 million project that that we're really going to be out of pocket for for $8 million, I that's that 20% reduction. We're never going to get that in value engineering. No. But if we, I again, I feel like I don't I, I don't think we have a project problem. We have a rev, we have a you know, right. Uh, we have a money. We have a money have problem. A pet, that's yeah. that's my yeah. view on this. Yeah. yeah. Um, and part of you know part of it is telling our telling the story and people understanding the need. But I, I do think that our time is not great. Mm -hmm. And uh, and you know so we'll see. But um, again, even just as a family, you know, speaking on a personal level, if the if the impact to my taxes were twenty percent less than. The ten million dollar price tag—that's more palatable than mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. 
know, unfortunately, yeah. most of these grants we won't know before the bond vote yeah, whether I, we I, have I, them. I, I, so I, that's the yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the little kicker is that we won't be able to say, you know, yeah. And again, I I, I won't get on my uh, get on my perch for too long, but like I feel like the state 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 and the federal government has a responsibility if we're as a nation going to meet our Paris climate goals oh, yeah. to help every town <laughs> and individual you know I, we yeah. should all be working together I don't think the town of Richmond should be paying the 1.2 million or whatever it is to make the green yeah. building yeah. I think the federal government should be kicking in because this is a collective need I don't think it's that, that's just my personal view <laughs> it's a, yeah. you know it's not out of the question that we could um do another congressional discretionary spending request but that would rely on a functional congress so i don't know about that but you know i mean we do have we still have time you know yeah. so yes. um uh you know i think we still need to present the information of why this is as much as it is and why it really can't be a lot less than that and how we're going to try to offset some of those costs um and, um, and as lisa said what happens if we don't do this yeah <laughs> you know uh it, 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 this building will not get better um, right it'll it'll deteriorate um more and it's it really we need to do something so ultimately we'll learn whether the uh, uh, you know whether this community at this time has the wherewithal to make this investment, um, mm -hmm. and frankly, the vision to do that is this is this you know we we couldn't have picked another time, so this is the time we yeah. have to do it. Yeah, yeah, back when we started in twenty nineteen, it would have been cheaper, but we didn't have any information. So this is really our time. Yeah. I think. <laughs> Okay, so we've actually successfully made it through our agenda. Except for minutes. Except for minutes, which <laughs> are, once again, are stellar. Um, uh, so um, uh, it, I, I, I would take a motion to uh, approve the minutes as presented, unless there are any changes. From the September, 28th. From the September 28th meeting. Motion. I move that we accept the minutes from September 28th. And second. Second that. Okay. Is there any discussion or changes we want to make to them? Uh, hearing none, we'll take a vote. Uh, to state your name and your vote. Dave Healy, aye. Lori, aye. Aye. Dave, aye. And Amy? Amy, aye. And Josh? Josh, aye. Unanimous. Okay. Um, is there any other business that we need to attend to tonight? This was a, 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 a fast. Uh, but meeting, meeting. No, I don't see any. Um, and I think we have, uh, we've already dealt with our items for the next agenda. Just the presentation. Just the presentation. So um, with that, I think we're ready to adjourn. Okay. So thank you all for attending. I hope I actually recorded this. I think I did. <laughs> that recording in progress. I <laughs> What's that? You're, you're all good. Okay. Yeah. Good. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's right down there. I can say do end. Oh my God. Good night. Good night, good night. everyone. Good night. Good night.